Let's never forget the two words that once served again as both remembrance and a call to action commemorates the 77th anniversary of the 1941 Japanese attack on Pearl Harbor. On December 7, 1941, the United States would forever be changed. The attack on Pearl Harbor by the Empire of Japan tested the will of the American people like never before. It was a day that changed the course of history and the destiny of America. It was a day of tragedy, sacrifice, and heroism that united a nation. It was a day that lives in infamy. On this day, Pearl Harbor Remembrance Day, let us take a moment to honor and be inspired by all who served and remember those who paid the ultimate sacrifice while fighting to preserve our nation's freedom. President Franklin D. Roosevelt addressed the Congress the day after Japan's attack on Pearl Harbor, declaring nation, our nation at war. It's perhaps one of the most iconic speeches in American history, particularly Roosevelt's famous lines describing the horrific attack the prior day. Yesterday, December 7, 1941, a day which will live in infamy, the United States of America was suddenly and deliberately attacked by naval and air forces of the Empire of Japan. President Roosevelt spoke with prolific words when he stated, no matter how long it may take us to overcome this uh, invasion, the American people and their righteous might will win through absolute victory. With the abounding determination of our people, we will gain the inevitable triumph, so help us God. This infamous day 77 years ago pronounced, produced many U.S. casualties. More than 3,500 were left dead or wounded. 21 ships were sunk or damaged, and more than 340 aircraft were damaged or destroyed. We will never forget the events that day, but most significantly, we will we recognize the thousands of soldiers, sailors, airmen, Marines, and Coast Guard men who perished during the horrific ambush and the turbulent years that followed. America had never been so gravely wounded, but Americans refused to stay down. They united together, steadfast with one goal in mind, to do whatever it takes to defend their home and freedom. Thus, America's greatest generation was born. The plan by Japan to conquer a massive Pacific uh, Empire backfired. The long odds our nation faced during those dark days in 1941 served to fuel uh, the spirit of our country and carry us through ultimate victory against the Axis powers, just as President Roosevelt had predicted. The attack on Pearl Harbor taught us that we must be ever vigilant against enemies of our way of life. It taught us the necessity of maintaining a strong national defense and a well-trained and well-equipped military, able to thwart the efforts of freedom-hating tyrants. The lessons learned from the attack on Pearl Harbor kept our nation safe and secure for nearly 60 years, but tragic events of 9-11 taught us to never let our guard down. Even while we enjoy abundance of freedom, we are not exempt from danger. Pearl Harbor and September 11th provided one thing, our people may be attacked, our buildings may be destroyed, but our enemies will never be successful in crushing our democracy or destroying our American way of life. Collective response and ultimate victory in World War II sent a message to the world. America will never go quietly into the night. We will always fight back and we will prevail. Today, a great many survivors of the attack on Pearl Harbor and those who fought in World War II are no longer with us. We will always remember their contributions through service and their devotion to duty. Each page of American history tells story and sacrifice, and the story of the sacrifices that the men and women of our armed forces have made. Each colorful page illustrates the legacy of their accomplishments. Along with American freedom, there will always be a price paid. We are thankful for every service member willing to ensure e to ensure evil and tyranny, tyranny will not prevail. Their contributions, their sacrifice, their steadfast devotion to duty, God, country, and their families have provided us with examples of true character we need to emulate every day of our lives. Today we continue to be inspired by their diligent perseverance and are strengthened by their memory and action. May we leave here equally resolved in our determination to serve our nation and fellow man as selflessly as they did.
Thank you, everyone. Mr. Vice President, Mr. Speaker, members of the Senate and of the House of Representatives, yesterday, December 7th, 1941, a date which will live in infamy. The United States of America was suddenly and deliberately attacked by naval and air forces of the Empire of Japan.